when the weather is hot and muggy, like this, all sitting together in the, this hall, uh, these uh, conditions that are very uh, likely to produce sleepiness, dullness. So if you find the mind is drifting, getting drawn into dull, heavy, sleepy states, then notice that. It's always up to us as individuals to bring attention to what the mind is doing. What are the uh, attributes of the body? the mind at this moment. So if the mind is inclining towards dullness, sleepiness, find ourselves nodding, dozing, then rather than just letting uh, everything be swept along by that, let me incline in the opposite direction. If the mind is drifting towards dullness and heaviness, then we need to arouse the energy element. So in this respect, it's helpful to bring attention in, into the posture. Notice how we're holding the body. Is the spine slumped over? Is our head nodding? Is it impossible to open our eyes? If so, then this is a clear sign that uh, more energy will be helpful. We don't need to calm things down anymore. We need to feed the rousing, energizing factors of mind. They'll bring attention into the posture straightening the, the spine, inviting the body to sit in a more upright, alert way. Consciously bringing energy up through the spine. Focus on the posture for a while and if you notice that the head is beginning to droop or the back bending, starting to nod, open the eyes for a while, just use the, the sights of the room to, to look at the shrine, or look at what's immediately in front of you, to use the faculty of vision to help support the rousing of energy, waking up. So we're not creating negativity towards dullness or self-criticism, blaming ourselves for being dull and sleepy, not creating more self-view around it, more negativity, but rather just uh, choosing to steer in a different direction, seeing that the, the system is dull and heavy, then we steer it towards brightening, Alertness, rousing energy. If on the other hand we're experiencing the opposite, the mind very busy, agitated, buzzing here and there, then we've already got plenty of energy to play with. So what is needed is the qualities of calmness, tranquility. So if the mind is busy, agitated, overactive, then again, 
bring attention into the body and invite the body to relax let everything soften, settle steering towards calmness, tranquility if that's what we need so it's up to us, each one of us, to notice what's our disposition at the moment what's the mood what's the dominant qualities and then steer and guide things accordingly and letting that guidance come from a place of, of mindfulness, of wisdom attunement to the present moment and then we find a, a greater quality of balance an evenness of energy and relaxation an evenness of alertness and peacefulness helping the mind to be bright, awake and calm all at the same time helping the body to be energized alert, attentive yet relaxed free from tension when you experience discomfort in the body try to notice that simply as unpleasant feeling this kind of uh, natural, inescapable, ordinary painful feelings of the body the Buddha referred to this as the, the first arrow being shot by the first arrow if we have a body, we have a mind necessarily we're going to experience pain from time to time nobody can dodge the first arrow the second arrow is the fretting, negotiating, fearing, worrying, resenting or the negativity that buzzes around a painful feeling like a swarm of flies anxiety, fear, resentment, tension now the second arrow is completely avoidable and this is the the suffering that can be ended completely the dukkha that ends the dukkha that can be completely dissolved is the second arrow this fretting, worrying, resenting, fearing
And when we experience physical pain, the natural reaction is to tense up against it, in our back or our legs or wherever it might be. And the ironic thing is that the more we tense up against a painful feeling, the more we create the conditions for pain to, to be strengthened, to be intensified. So when you notice a pain in your body, your legs or your back or wherever, the first thing to do then is to see if you can relax around it. Relax the other muscles of the legs, relaxing the back. To not stress, tense up, resisting that painful feeling but to relax into it. Softening, loosening the muscles around it. So we soften the muscles. We also soften the attitude. Letting go of the feelings of resentment or the habit of negotiating. worrying, resenting, to just let that feeling simply be there, to be present. And what we begin to realize is that there can be a painful feeling that is arising in our awareness, it's present, and it's absolutely not a problem. It's not sweet, it's not delightful, it's still painful. But it's held in an atmosphere of peace, of acceptance. There's a loving kindness towards it. We're not pretending that we like it. We're not pretending that we want it to carry on. But we're recognizing, here it is, in this moment, here is this feeling. And it has this texture, this quality. And when we soften the attitude towards a painful feeling in this way, then we're much more able to relate to it with mindfulness and wisdom. So, if the body is being stressed, a particular joint has got pressure put on it, then it's not, the, it's not necessary for us to just be determined to not change the posture at all costs, but rather we can attend to that feeling of discomfort with care, with mindfulness, wisdom. And then when there's a, a sense that the body is being stressed to a, a limit where harm might be done, straining a joint, putting excess pressure on the, on the knee or in the back, and then we can change the posture. But notice how when we relate to pain in this way, then we're changing the posture based on an attitude of kindness towards the body rather than out of an aversion to pain. When we react or resist painful feeling, then we change the posture based on fear and irritation, negativity. So in that we create more causes for pain and stress to arise in the future. If we're patient, develop kindness, mindful awareness, we let the posture change based on a 
sensitivity to the body and its needs, then in that we're not creating more causes for pain, we're not creating the causes for stress. There's an attunement, a balance. We've dodged the second arrow, and we're simply caring for the body, the mind, in a natural, sensitive, realistic way. So when you experience pain, see if you can work with it in this way. Is to be patient, accepting, and to wait. To relax the body, to relax the attitude. And then to wait until it's an act of kindness towards the body change the posture rather than an act of fear and resentment towards the pain. And when you do that, notice the difference. How when we act from a place of mindfulness and wisdom, from attunement, has a quality of spaciousness, peacefulness, Stillness, even as the movement is going on. <clears throat> 